guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make Valentine treats. If you are new to my channel, be sure and click on the subscribe button below this video and click on that little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can get a notification and be first to know about all of my beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos every time I upload. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here and be sure and click on that bell as well. So today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious, easy to make Valentine treats. You can make these for your family, for your friends, for yourself, for your sweetheart, for your coworkers, whoever you wanna make them for. So let's get to it. The first treat is chocolate filled bonbons. You'll need two and a fourth cups all purpose flour, one cup of Crisco, half a cup of confectioner sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, one package of chocolate stars. Wait, back up, back up. Yes, this is Christmas packaging. I had purchased two bags of the Brock's chocolate stars at Christmas time, and I saved one for the Valentine's Day cookies. You can actually make these cookies at Christmas time as well and decorate them for Christmas. I used to use these stars in these cookies a long time ago, and then for some reason they just weren't available. I couldn't find them anywhere. And this past Christmas, I was in Target and I saw them when I was looking for ingredients for my Christmas treats and so I grabbed two packages of them. If you can't find the Brock's Chocolate Stars, just use Hershey Kisses with the points cut off. And to decorate, you'll need nonpareil sprinkles in Valentine colors and two tubes each of red, pink, and white gel icing. You'll preheat the oven to 375 Fahrenheit and then cream the Crisco and sugar together. I usually just use a regular fork to do this. I find that the easiest. And blend in the vanilla extract. And then sift in the flour. And add the salt and mix until blended. I find it easiest to get my hands in there and smush all of the ingredients together to form the dough that way. Of course you need to wash your hands before doing this, but then again, we all know to wash our hands before cooking or baking anything. Then you'll measure two teaspoons of dough and wrap it around a chocolate star. Keep doing this until you've used up all the dough. Place the cookies on an ungreased cookie sheet or a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. You'll want to cool the cookies briefly on the cookie sheet and then transfer them to a wire cooling rack and cool them completely. Once the cookies are completely cooled, decorate them with the gel icing. I'm making either a heart or a bow on each cookie. Then top the cookies off with the nonpareils. And now we have our first batch of cookies, the chocolate filled bonbons. Now let's make Betty Crocker's Valentine Chex Mix. You will need four and a half cups of rice Chex cereal, half a cup of white vanilla baking chips, one fourth of a cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons of butter or margarine, one third of a cup of powdered sugar, one fourth of a cup of red, white, and pink plain M&Ms, and two tablespoons of sprinkles in Valentine colors. Start out by placing the peanut butter, vanilla chips, and butter in a microwavable bowl. 
Microwave the peanut butter, vanilla chips, and butter uncovered on high for one minute to one minute and 30 seconds in 30 second increments. You'll want to stir every 30 seconds until all of the ingredients are melted and smooth. Then pour the mixture over the cereal. Stir the mixture into the cereal until all of the cereal is evenly coated. You might want to get your hands in there to help the mixture get evenly distributed. Of course, wash your hands first. Then place half of the cereal mixture in a one gallon food storage plastic bag. Add the powdered sugar and then seal the bag and shake the cereal and sugar together until it is well coated. Then spread the coated cereal on wax paper or foil and cool for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, stir in the M&Ms and sprinkles into the remaining cereal mixture. Once again, spread the mixture on wax paper or foil and cool that for about 15 minutes as well. Place both cereal mixtures in a large bowl. Mix them together. And you're all set. It's best to store this in an airtight container. And the final treat in this video is Betty Crocker's Peanut Butter M&M's Cookie Pie. You'll need one pouch of Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix, half a cup of butter, one egg, one cup of red, white, and pink plain M&M's, half a cup of red, white, and pink peanut butter M&M's, and eight Reese's peanut butter filled chocolate hearts. Heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and spray the bottom of a nine inch pie plate with cooking spray. In a large mixing bowl, mix together the cookie mix, the butter, and the egg. Once the dough is formed, stir in three fourths of a cup of the plain M&Ms and the whole half cup that you've got of the peanut butter M&Ms. Press the dough into the bottom of the pie plate. Sprinkle the remaining fourth of a cup of plain M&Ms over the top and press the M&Ms on the top into the dough a little bit. And then remove the Reese's peanut butter hearts from the foil that they came in and press them lightly into the dough. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 28 to 30 minutes. Then you'll want to cool the cookie pie completely for at least two hours. When you're ready to serve, just cut the pie into wedges. It's best to store this tightly covered. I hope you enjoyed these treats. If you make them, let me know in the comments section what your favorite Valentine treats are. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel by either clicking the circle that you see on this screen or the subscribe button below this video. And make sure you click on that little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be the first to know about all of my beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. And have you seen the video below? If not, why don't you give it a click and check it out. See you all next time. Bye.